Hi, my name is Laura Wellington and I'm a personal trainer. I work for a big box club and I also own my own personal training business, Spot on Strong. Today I'm here partnering with Helix Sports to talk about the topic macros. I always get the question, what are macros and should I worry about my intake and should I worry about what I'm consuming? Yes and no. So macros are broken down into fats, carbs, and proteins. I'm going to break those further down today and tell you why they're important to the human body. The first macro I want to talk about is carbs. Carbs gives us the necessary energy to sustain us during working out. Too much carbs can spike our insulin level, but too little of carbs cannot give us enough energy while working out. There are many different types of carbs out there. To start, we have our breads. We have our white bread and our wheat bread. Then we have our rices, our brown rice and our white rice. We also have our starches, which consist of our regular potatoes and our sweet potatoes. And lastly, we have our fruits and vegetables. I know a lot of people don't put the fruit in the carbohydrates category, but it definitely is a carb. The next macro I want to talk about is fat. Fat also provides our body with energy. For those ketosis people, fat provides you that energy. For myself, I'm a big believer in carbs, but it depends on your body type. Fats help with your immune system and your nervous system. Some different types of fats include avocados, nuts, and oils. The last macronutrient I want to discuss is protein. Protein helps heal our muscles. Whenever you're picking up something heavy or you're moving something, you're ripping out those muscle fibers. So giving yourself protein helps heal those muscles. Some different types of protein out there are our white meats and our red meats. Our white meats consist of chicken and turkey, and our red meats consist of our steak and our ground beef. Also fish is in that category. A lot of people don't realize that nuts is a protein too. So if you don't like a lot of different proteins, nuts is definitely the way to go. Let's discuss macros more in detail. We already discussed about them and what they do for our body, but let's break it down even more. Carbs, one gram of carb equals four calories. Fats, one gram of fat equals nine calories. And protein, one gram of protein equals four calories. Those all work hand in hand to provide us our caloric intake for the day which also turns hand in hand with our macros. Something to help you better understand this is an application I like to use, MyFitnessPal. MyFitnessPal will break down your macros down to the percentage and also your calories. Let me show you a little bit what I use as well. Like I said, everyone's macros are different and everyone's calories are different. I'm going to show you mine, but that doesn't mean it is exactly what it pertains to yourself. So opening the MyFitnessPal app, it is a free app, but you can also do the paid version. The free, app, the free app is just as good. Um, you get your macros and you get your calories. If you go into the application and you go to more and you go down to goals, it gives you an option to put in your weight and your calories. So it'll also generate it for you, but if you wanna break it down further, you can go to calories and macronutrients goals. As you can see, I have 1400 calories, 20% carbohydrates, protein is 60% and fat is 20. Some of you are like, whoa, that carb's way low. But I also do what's considered carb cycling. So I carb cycle on my leg day and my back day. So on those days, I consume more carbs. So like I said, everyone's body types are different. I am your bodybuilder and I'm also your athlete. I lift heavy, but I also like to do your endurance things as well. So this is a very good tool to use to keep you on the right track and obviously keep you in line so you guys don't get out of your line when it comes to cheating and those little things throughout the weekends. Now that we talked about my fitness pal, I wanted to describe the carbohydrates within my diet. Carbs are important. My intake may be low, but it is very important to have good amounts of carbs before working out. A good pre-workout meal would be one half cup of oats, one scoop of protein, and one tablespoon of peanut butter. I do this almost every day before working out. I need those carbs for energy before working out. A good post-workout is your protein shake. That is so commonly known and it is for a reason. You need that protein to sustain after your workout to heal your muscle fibers after damaging them through a great exercise. Remember, everyone's body type is different, so understanding your macros is important. For more information, reach out to your local dietitian or local nutritionist. They'd be happy to help you and put your guidelines in place. Give Spot on Strong and Helix Sports a follow for more information. We're going to be continually posting personal information when it comes to nutrition and more to come. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Links are in the description below. Hit that thumbs up button if you found this useful. Be sure to subscribe for more videos like this and check out helixsports.com for the best gear, apparel, and resources to help you be at the top of your game.